Welcome to SherwoodPhoenix.co.uk folks. Today I'm going to be showing you a few different pianos we have here that we're currently putting up on auction. This is the Dianmeyer Baby Grand, the black polyester case. We've got the Yamaha G3 just behind me here, um, 1970s. And we have a Yamaha U1 upright piano as well. Uh, this is also a 1970s model, folks. And it is uh, in what we call used condition. Likewise with this particular and the same with the Neymar as well. So none of these pianos have had any particular restoration as such. They just basically came into our stock and we're going to be auctioning them off. And we're actually starting to do this more and more now for customers. So if you're maybe thinking of selling a piano, you've got a good quality piano or possibly some other instruments and you're looking for some help to sell it, please just get in contact with us and we can see if we can help you with that process. It can sometimes be daunting selling stuff um, however, it's what we do and it's certainly what I've done pretty much my whole professional career. Um, so if I can help you with that and our team can help you with that, please do get in contact. But yeah, um, i tell you what, I'll start over with the Naimaya here. So we've got a black polyester baby grand piano, 88 note keyboard, three pedals. This one has been in one home since new. Very good condition all round. It's a pretty little piano. Um, and what more can I say, ideal, uh, ideal for a, a good beginner, uh, someone who's maybe maturing into being an amateur piano player and certainly um, it's a great looking piece as well. So if you've got a good space looking for a nice baby grand piano in a black polyester case, then this is a very reasonable price piano. Here we go. <laughs> Ideal little piano, as I say, folks. It is quite bright, this particular piano. Um, however, we don't think it's too bright, as some people would say, you know, a piano gets to a point where it maybe goes beyond what you'd want as a, a bright level. Uh, and I'd say this is on the kind of upper register of where you would want a piano to be, uh, which is nice for things like uh, for your kind of jazzy stuff. <laughs> sound the piano. Um, I'm going to jump over to the G3 which is quite different in tone um, and then obviously you're going to a Yamaha so you've got the, the pedigree of a, a Japanese piano here. Uh, the Neymar is um, as, as much as it may sound German it certainly is a Chinese made piano um, but it's, it's, it's a lovely little piano as, as I say for a beginner to an amateur piano player then it is certainly, uh, it's certainly everything you need to be fair. Uh, so the Yamaha G3s came from uh, a private owner who's owned it for going on two decades. Um, they've actually fitted new hammers to it in the last few years. And um, yeah, it's, it's actually quite a nice sounding piano. Got a couple of chips and marks around the case, as you would expect from a piano of this age. Uh, but quite a nice sounding instrument. 
Let me play it over to the 88 note keyboard. This one is a two pedal one with it being an earlier uh, Yamaha. Uh, some of the, like, the, you started to see three pedals more uh, commonly in the 80s. But let me play this one over to you in the meantime. Here we go. piano and this one is going on an eBay auction uh, this coming week so keep your eye out for that it's going to it's going to be a real bargain for someone I'm pretty sure um, this this time of the year is a little bit quieter so if you're in the mood for getting a piano at the right price then certainly now is a good time to buy uh, feel free to come down and try this piano or the Neymar if you're looking for a baby grand or grand and um, we've got about 100 to 150 baby grand and grand pianos in our stock at the minute uh, loads of Yamahas some Kawais Bechstein, Bluffner, Bosendorfer, Steinway, um, some Essex, Boston, Feurich, and many other piano makers as well. Uh, we've got a really good selection at the minute. But let me just jump across here to the Yamaha U1. And uh, this one, again, it is a used piano. It's going to be going on at auction this coming week. It'll be running for 10 days and will be sold to the highest bidder. Um, quite a nice little piano. It's going to be a bargain for someone. We do have quite a few new ones in stock at the minute, different uh, different ages and different uh, levels of restoration as well. This one is a CS used, so there's been no no recent restoration done to it. However, it is played nicely, and uh, I'll, I'll play over to you. Here we go. from bright to mellow um, so if I'm going, to, I'm going to go from this one straight back to that and uh, then I might I'll just pull the stool out just so that we can get as close um, a match as for, for, for difference here if you hear it as I play here we go between the three quite quickly there when you do that and certainly for me sitting in the room here 
I can hear that the Yamaha G3 is a bit fuller than the other two in sound. Um, it's got a bit, a bit more roundness in the tone. Uh, the Neumeyer is a little bit brighter than the both of these pianos, and I would say this one sits in the middle between bright, uh, uh, bright and more kind of mellow soft. Uh, this is a lovely little U1 upright piano. So if you're in the market for one, this is going on our eBay auctions. We're going to be running more and more auctions, as I did say before. And certainly if you're looking to maybe sell a piano and you're looking for some, for some help with that, do get in contact with us. Uh, any questions at all, feel free to get in contact with myself, Stephen. And that's S-T-E-P-H-E-N at SherwoodPhoenix.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, folks. We do look forward to seeing you. Bye for now.